Just about time to rock as Toe gets ready to meet Leather. And off we go from Cleveland. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. First play from scrimmage, Stafford. And his first pass is incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There's a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage. And that throw had no shot. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Back to throw, Stafford. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. Crowd getting in it a bit already. Here's an early third and ten. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Stafford. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, L.A. Cooper Cup. 75 yards. And the Rams need just three plays to go down and take the early lead. Well, Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Here's Jakeem Grant from his end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb, and he'll power his way up near the 25. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They run it again with Chubb, and they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Seven yards there at a first down. And Chubble try the middle here. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Watson, off play action. 
And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. 13 yards to pick up there. Good for a Cleveland first. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised as we just saw there. They'll try the air now with Watson. They'll roll him out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. And he is such a tough quarterback to defend because you got to remember, arguably, he's more dangerous outside the pocket than he is in it. But how about the job they did defensively to stay with the receiver and knock the ball away? I think they had a sigh of relief there because oftentimes when he gets outside the pocket, big plays result downfield. They go up the middle with Chubb, and he'll be tackled at the 45, following a gain of just two. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. A give, this is Chubb. And he'll take this to the 47, but no further as they get him down well short of the line to gain. This defense not budging. Back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. On fourth down on is Corey Bohorquez to punt. Just a 30-yard punt that time. And they will take over first and 10. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They have to be thrilled with that first drive that got them the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. And now a timeout called defensively by the Browns. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. start out with Akers. He'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Second and nine. They'll send a receiver in motion left. On second and nine, Stafford. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. Textbook coverage right there. Played the ball, never lost sight of where it was headed, and stayed in perfect position to make a play on it. Able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. <laughs> Throwing is Stafford. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. In for the sack, Miles Garrett. In every game, we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them and they get their first sack of the contest. Here comes Grant on the return. 
And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. A great return there. Bobbitt and Weeman his way for 31 yards. And the Browns will take over first and 10. The Cleveland offense ready to go. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 25 yards that time. With these run pass options, we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield. Chubb on the counter, and not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That's a really nice play to be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. After one, seven-nothing on EA Sports. Second down, here's Chubb again. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. Watson just beating the play clock. He's got Najoku, his big tight end. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. They'll run with Chubb. And he is going to lose yardage here. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Here's Watson. This will be caught at about the six. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion and would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. They're going to run this with a tight end. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up a fourth down. Well, let's see what they do. They're knocking on the door here in the second quarter. And you know what you look at on your play sheet? Your two-point conversion plays. Because you've drawn up a number of them in today's football. You don't just have one or two for the game. You have more like six or seven. Which one do you like here? Because that's essentially what you're going for right now. And he's in. Touchdown, Browns. Pharaoh Brown taking it in from two yards out. And the Browns' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Extra point by York is up and good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Powell now to take it out of the end zone. 
And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Stafford going to give this to Akers. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. On oh, a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. It's a Rams first down on a pickup of 10. Good push up front in that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front, and they're able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. Slot man moves right. They'll run on first down with Akers. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Second down and seven. Going right back to Akers. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Receiver in motion left. Try the air now with Stafford. He'll dump this off to Akers. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Here's a run with Akers on second down. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team 
defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. And Gay knocks this one through. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. to so they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. is to snap this once and that'll do it for the first half of play so we've hit intermission it's halftime this is the nfl and it's a presentation of ea sports and we welcome you back now alongside charles davis i'm brandon gunn getting set for quarter number three here the browns going to see the football first but they trail here as we resume play on ea sports on the return from his end zone is Grant. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Browns drive about to get started. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. He's going to fire one deep left sideline. That's caught inside the 20. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. And they'll send the tight end in motion. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Wide second down, right back to Hunt. And he'll take this one inside the 10, down to the 8. Throwing on third down, Watson gets this to Kareem Hunt, his running back. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. Hunt. Trying to get to the goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short at the one. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Good work there. Holding him out on first down. And this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? On second and goal, the lone man in the backfield is Hunt. He's going to get it again. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Now Watson on third and goal. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? 
especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. So they come away from this opening drive of the third quarter with only three, but it does draw them even. Yeah, and that has to be job one, doesn't it? A touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you've got most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And their three-point halftime lead gone now, back to a tie game. But, Charles, I don't imagine that changes too much for this offense. I would agree. I don't think it changes much at all, whether it's a three-point lead or a tie game. They know they have their work cut out for them, and they were going to run their offense in the same vein. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think, ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now it's Stafford. Now the hook up here to Allen Robinson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 49-yard line. A give up the middle to Akers. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down right. He gets maybe three. break you're watching the nfl on ea sports second and seven they'll bring a receiver in motion left Second and seven, Stafford. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. And the Browns will take over here at their own 14-yard line. Well, we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally. And that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes. And that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And the question, can they turn that interception into points? A tie game for the moment in the fourth quarter. They begin this drive with Chubb. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. And 
This is going to be intercepted. And the Rams are going to take possession of the football. With Charles in a tie game, you always wonder who's going to be making the big plays. Right now, it's not the offensive players. We're seeing these defenses step up and take control. Both of the last two drives have ended with interceptions. They are certainly dictating this game, aren't they? Now it's going to come down to which offense can follow their defense's lead and step up in the clutch themselves. They'll go with Akers here up the middle. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. In motion left, Robinson. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and five. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Now Stafford. Powell on the catch. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. They bring pressure there on third down, but this is a nice job of picking it up and making sure their guy has time to deliver the football. And they wind up getting the first down. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. On the give, this is Akers. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the past. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Cam Akers, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Rams have broken our tie and have taken a fourth-quarter lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line. Because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of a season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. On oh, the return from his end zone is Grant. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Browns drive about to get started. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Pick it up, guys. Pick it up. Check, check, check. 
They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson sliding out of the pocket. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. Well, I think we were both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one-possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. Here's Watson. Rolling to his right. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. On fourth down, Watson. Got a man, it's Schwartz complete. And he's going to pick up the Browns first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Watson looks to throw again. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing again is Watson. He's going to rifle one deep left side. Oh, and a huge mistake late. It's intercepted. And the Rams are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. Agreed, that's twice now in this fourth quarter. As a quarterback, a lot of times you think it's all on you to make plays when you're losing. And here, the play's not there, but he throws it anyway. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. From the 27, Stafford. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. This a very important drive, and that incompletion leads to a very important third down here if they're going to try and get the football back. Yeah, getting it back, absolutely crucial to their chances to try and win this game. I would expect a lot of pressure here. They can't afford to let them continue to get first downs and eat away at the clock. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Stafford now to throw. It's complete to Robinson. 
And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a timeout called for by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. left Robinson on the handoff it's Akers and he's going to take this across the 50 into Browns territory 72 yards on the ground for him so far that's it that's what you want straight ahead positive gain just keep that clock ticking they'll bring a receiver in motion left Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. In motion, left Robinson. They'll go again here with Akers. And the linebacker, Jeremiah Wusu koromoa on the tackle. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Second down. They'll run out of the gun with Akers. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. Well, this is a new concept. It's third down, but they've got the punt unit on. And now we'll get a delay here as they try to give themselves a little more room for the punt. I think they're just a product of trying to buy themselves five extra yards. And yeah, they want to help their punter out, right? Help with the angle, trying to pin the ball deep. That's exactly what they did there. Yeah. 
Every penalty so critical at this stage of the game as now they've got it third and long. Now a run with Akers. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. This to perhaps salt this one away. That's leaking to the right, and he missed it by a foot or two. It's no good, and this will remain a one-touchdown game. What a game we were treated to in this one. And on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from Cleveland.
EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Los Angeles Rams and the Cleveland Browns. and I have been looking forward to this one all week. And off we go from Cleveland. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Begin on the ground with Akers. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. On second and seven, Stafford. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. drive this is third and seven just beating the play clock Stafford trying to get it to Robinson and it's intercepted picked by Ronnie Harrison and the Browns are going to take possession of the football that's kind of a double whammy I mean the interception on the opening drive that's one thing but to give him this field position that's another absolutely perfect start for this defense they take the ball away on the opening possession they know that their offense will get the ball to start the second half. They line them up in field goal position, and to me, they got a chance for a touchdown right here out of the gate. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. After the interception, here's Watson. Steps away to his left. And his throw's going to be incomplete. But defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Back to throw, Watson. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. And the Rams are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one, and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away? and take control of this game. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And their opening drive, that ended with the interception. Fortunate, though, it didn't lead to points. It didn't lead to points, and because they kind of got away with one, maybe you come back and throw something similar again to show that you're not afraid, that you're not going to back down, and take your shot. Let the defense know that you're going to be there all game long. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Watch the 
To try again after the sack. Stafford, throw left side, complete to Cup. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> this is the end result. Big yardage after it. Got the speed, the agility, so good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. And what's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch, a lot of times he'll just run past you at the initial point of contact, and he'll go deep. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. From just shy of midfield, Stafford looking underneath. He's got Akers, and he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 41. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. An inside give, Brown. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. The last run got six, now second and four. In motion left, Robinson. Here's Akers. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. third down here's a run by Akers and Akers he is not going to get there they mark him short of the first they'll be marked inches short no gain on the play and that's going to lead him to fourth down and they didn't get much more than that, but by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Now a give, left side, Brown with it. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play.
No score after one on EA Sports. Here's second and ten. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Here's Stafford. And his throw is incomplete. They give him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. That's into the hands of Akers complete. Touchdown, Rams! Cam Akers, 31 yards. And the Rams post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Cleveland offense ready to go. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. Cooper will come in motion right. Third and long, it's Watson. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. And the Rams are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. I exited the pocket trying to improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. And Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision can get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty of extending a play is sometimes your receivers find their way open, but oftentimes you end up closing down part of the field and bringing those defenders to the ball, and that one was picked off. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. After the interception, here's Stafford. 
Got a man open. It's Tyler Higby. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Working with a second and three. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This time it's third and three. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Going right back to Akers. And he appears to be about two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. And now a timeout called defensively by the Browns. Just their first in this half. We'll step aside and come right back. Dixon now to punt it away. Back deep, Jakeem Grant. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Browns drive about to get started. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week? Not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. A give running right is Chubb. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Well, Martin, I haven't seen a vote for most popular player on the team. This guy's got to get a lot of votes. He does not care, does he? Totally unselfish, physical runner, doesn't worry about yardage, just keeps moving the chains, being a team player. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They go up the... And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he's got Rome. And they will finally catch him, but not before he gets it to the 11. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And again, it's Chubb. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Now Chubb running right. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. 
give him two on the play there. And the Browns are going to have a first and goal. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. They'll try to run with Hunt, and he is going to lose yardage here. On second and goal, the lone man in the backfield is Hunt. Quick throw completed by Watson. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Deshaun Watson finding Amari Cooper. And the Browns are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by York is up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they've got a little over 40 seconds to work with if they want to try to put something together. They'll send a receiver in motion left. On first down, Stafford here. Open man right side is cup complete. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. And now the Browns are going to take another timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Stafford. He'll check this down to Akers out of the backfield. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Throwing again on second down. Stafford. Akers, back-to-back -back catches. Oh, he's got a little day. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. The big gainer there on the catch and run, 37 yards. He was not the primary target. They expected to get the ball downfield, instead checked it down. An old coach of mine used to say to us all the time, when they check it down, that should end the down. In this case, though, he foiled that in a big way and turned it into a big play. On first down at Stanford. Now he brings it in off the deflection. Oh, he's brought down, and remember here, no timeouts left. They got to get to the line quick. A good pickup, but it will come on what should be the final play in this first half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. 
This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Offense ready to go. Well, the first half very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied Charles. So as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one, and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the Pee Wee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. All right, second down, right back to Hunt. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Now after the run by Hunt, here's first and 10. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Hunt. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Now a play fake, and it's Watson. He'll buy some time right. And he's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they get five there on third and two. Chubb on the counter, and he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. And off comes to Chubb. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. The third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And his kick is good. Oh, he just did tuck it into the bottom of that left corner. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. Well, they don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they find themselves down on the scoreboard following the field goal a moment ago. And I think even though they trail in the game now, I would consider that a win for their defense. And that's probably what they're telling the offense when they get to the bench. Hey, the onus is on you guys now. Get back out there and get us the lead back. After the sack on first down, Stafford nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Browns. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for a Browns TD. The York on now for the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. <laughs> 
set to begin their next drive. The Rams offense at the line. They trail by 10, 17-7 as they come up on a first and 10. Stafford. That's out to the flat for Akers. Finding space at the 40. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Stafford on first down. That'll be caught. It's caught. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Now a first down throw. Stafford will get this to Akers out of the backfield. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. To throw again on second down. Stafford, this one brought in by Jefferson. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. From the red zone now, Stafford. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Working with second and five now. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Looking to throw again on second down. Stafford. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And the Rams are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try to get the ball back again. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Now they'll put a receiver in motion left. Akers is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Third and goal. And keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. In motion left, Robinson. Now they send a man in motion right. Akers again. And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Cam Akers, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Rams have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The 
The Browns drive about to get started. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs. Keep possession of the football. They'll try and run down some clock with Johnson. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there. Gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Again, it's Johnson. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Faking the give. Now Watson. He's going to fire one. Corner of the end zone. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. It's up and good to make it 21-17. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And not the first time that they're coming back out off of a turnover, but the last one really hurt Charles with that pick six. And it feels like the whole team's infected right now, doesn't it? It's not just been one person. It's kind of been a group effort where the mistakes have happened. Can they put that aside, kind of start over, and put together a nice drive? Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Watson again. This is Johnson. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. to throw Watson and that's caught inside the 35 and all the way in touchdown Cleveland Anthony Schwartz 64 yards and the Browns answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead and it's no good well that could be a critical miss here in a one score game in the fourth The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From the six. And able to get this out to the 25. Yeah. 
set to begin their next drive. The Rams offense at the line. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle. Kind of scam the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Now it's Stafford. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Stafford. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. The Rams are going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Desperation time for Stafford on fourth down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Oh, he forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. Picked off by John Johnson. And the Browns have just about sewn up this football game. Well, that puts a little bit of a wrinkle in their comeback bid. Yeah, everything had turned around for them, hadn't it? I mean, things were now going their way. But you did mention it's a wrinkle in their comeback bid. It's not the death knell for them by any stretch, but now they've got some extra work to do in order to climb all the way back. drive about to get started and still two timeouts defensively but even if they choose to use those three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory and that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game a little clock management 101 good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 45 they start on the ground with Nick Chubb and he is going to lose yardage here now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Second and long, but you got to figure this almost certainly another run. And Watson's going to throw it here. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. I've got a good friend in football who always talks about predictive history. He's got one of their two touchdowns. You can understand why they tried to find him again. Weren't able to connect, but the thought, that was good. On third down, it's Nick Chubb. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. The Browns send out their punter now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Nice 
job getting free on the return for 13 yards. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Here comes another drive from this unit, and Charles, they're coming off a costly mistake on the last possession, an interception right now. Well, as we know, they all sting no matter what the situation, but in a one-possession game, that'll hurt a little bit more. But this is an excellent opportunity to make up for it on this drive. I just don't expect them to try and take huge gambles to make up that. And a comeback may stall out. It's intercepted. Picked up by Greg Newsom. And the Browns have just about sewn up this football game. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. So Cleveland able to come away with the victory here. Charles, for this losing side, their heads are hanging as they walk off the field today. And really, I mean, we know why those three turnovers by that offense, that's ultimately what doomed them. And this is what coaches preach all the time to every team that we ever talk with. Taking care of the ball on offense, trying to take it away on defense. And let's face it, when you give it away three times in one game, you make it very difficult for your team to get the W. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. It's a win for the Browns, and they're happy in the dog pound as we say so long from Cleveland.